right, this is Far Starter, and this is a review of the Super Mini Pla Voltron Legendary Defender. So, um, this is the box. Uh, it does. Uh, this is just the cover. It doesn't have any details at the back for the other side. So we have the full view of Voltron right here. DreamWorks Voltron Legendary Defender. It's not Gold Lion because uh, licensing and whatnot. And then it says all of the lines are right here. Optional parts. And then we have um, again the lines right here. Choking Hazard and all of the things. So uh, mini plug. So this is a um, a model kit. So you have to build them from scratch. So if you are if you are a novice on it, you can use simple pliers but if you are really uh, the professional uh, one um, you do need to paint them uh, for some and then apply some stickers so I'll be building first the lion so I can show you some of the key details of, uh, of them and what's the difference between each of the lions and transforming them into the mighty Voltron once you have put all the pieces together in this Voltron, the instructions will set you with five lines first. Each line will have its own set of blasters and cannons attached on both sides of the front legs. Additionally, just like the cartoon, lines do have their own signature blades that plugs on the upper jaw, all except the black lion whose blades only hangs by locking the jaw. So these are the lines in their line hood, obviously. So some of the articulations, they're all the same. We have a hind leg right here. The joints can move front and back. Even the paws can move up and down. Um, some of them, like the red line and the green line, can twist the this part right here, left and right. It will be essential because there are the arms of the um, the li the black lion, so it will be very essential to have them moving left and right. The tails go also left to right, except for the ones that will be folded on to make the uh, uh, Voltron itself to be Voltron itself, uh, the robot mode, so the tails can do, will will be folded like so. If you have the old school um, Voltron uh, figures uh, that are combined to uh, to become a giant robot, it almost it is almost the same um, uh, thing that you will be doing for this mini plot. Um, the only thing I really don't like is the head of the is the neck of the black lion because it's too i feel it's too long there's no way there's a, no additional head or neck for the black lion um everything will be transformed as we progress through the video everybody everybody uh everybody will have their own blades um they're all pegged underneath their mouth and then you just need to close them like so to uh secure them except again for the black lion you just need to clip in there's no uh, peg or whatsoever on the blade and you just need to clip in like so and that's all you need to know about these five in line mode Similarly with other Voltron transforming sets, the black lion's head already comes with a face sculpt. You won't be able to hide the front legs as it folds behind but still visible and there will be extra pegs for the arms. The hind leg stretches out waiting for the legs to slot in. Blue, red, yellow, and green works differently by taking out the legs and replaced with silver caps since there are no compartments. These silver caps do have their own specific grooves so you won't place them in the wrong sections. Their default heads will be replaced with bigger heads to make it more seamless with the overall transformation. Tails come off for red and green lion but yellow and blue lion folds back into their spine. Finally included is the sword and the crush heel. What happens to the rest of the weapons? They will combine together to build Voltron's Mega Blaster. So articulation wise he has all the articulation joints that you ever need because of how this, this was built um, just like any other Voltron uh, figure the only thing that I think that will annoy you most is 
these panels right here that moves that allows additional movement for the arms because it will always hit on the wings so um, <laughs> you will keep on adjusting the these uh, going and trying to readjust it to a perfect V so other than that we have a head and neck articulation because of the transformation we have the arms right here you can the bice the entire arm can go 360 if you want to all both would have their own um, bicep joint and elbow joint the wrist can go in and out even the bigger um, versions of the heads would open and close as well so we have a uh, upper torso and waist right here and also movement front and back side by side because of the waist and leg articulation is really superb uh, again it's because of how it is it was made well very similar to most of the Voltron um, figures uh, or the modern era of Voltron figures for um, for especially this one so we have leg movement up here double jointed knees and it has a good reach and then the foot goes in and out I like that it has an additional support um, just like the old Voltron the again the mouthpiece for both legs to open like so no effects uh, unfortunately um, for this I would l really like to have a flame effect for um, the legs and the arms or the hands so um, other than that the only thing that's really protruding are the legs for the black lion it can move you can adjust it accordingly but again it will def uh, the wings will give it away like you have to readjust and readjust again because on how this was articulated so those are the things that you need to know about Voltron in robot mode this set is a great alternative to those who are looking for Voltron figures in the scale that is both combining and with a high level of articulation. However, this is not cheap for a model kit. It ranges about 80 to 100 US dollars in the aftermarket which is kind of hard to swallow as there are other plastic figures out there that are cheaper, painted, and you don't need to build from scratch. Moreover, filing and cutting parts is I believe more challenging as it is not as smooth and soft than other plastic kits like Gundams. And that is my review of the Super Mini Pla Voltron. If you want to know the possibilities and details of the figure, do check out the photos at the end of the video. And don't forget to like, share this video, and subscribe to this channel for more toy reviews.